Welcome to NASDAQ Trade Talks. I'm Jill Melandrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ. Joining us at the market site in Times Square, New York City, we have Gary Shapiro, CEO of the Consumer Technology Association, known as CTA, to discuss the key theme at CES 2020-23, the most influential tech event in the world. Gary, it is great to have you with us at market site. Welcome to Trade Talks. Thank you, Jill. And your organization, of course, is best known for hosting CES, and I think to call it the huge tech event is certainly an understatement. Um, in Las Vegas every January, you were telling me three convention centers, it, it fills up? Las Vegas has three of the ten largest convention centers in the United States, plus more hotel rooms than anyone, and we use all three during the course of the show. Um, they're huge, and we have over uh, 2,000 exhibitors. It's uh, about 30 football fields of exhibit space, and it's something that all around the world, one out of three attendees is outside the United States, and we're expecting about 100,000 attendees. Yeah, super exciting. I'm covering it for the first time this year, so I, I can't wait to see it. Wear um, comfortable shoes. Yeah. <laughs> so, but with many companies tightening their belts, what are you hearing from the tech community in terms of the value of CES for 2023? And will the show be back to normal? What we're hearing is that CES is more important than ever now. Just about every major company is there with a presence that's, in many cases, bigger than they had pre-COVID. It's something that really is important for companies now because they want to establish that face-to-face -face relationship with their, their customers and even their own employees. Plus, they want new business. They want to show the innovation that's occurred over the last few years. They want to expose it to the several thousand media that come and the fact that uh, one-third of the people that come are from outside the United mm -hmm. States. So we, we're, we're targeting about 100,000 people coming to Las Vegas. Vegas, and it will be massive, and there's, uh, we're, we're sold out in terms of the number of press conferences that can be held, uh, major companies are there, and anyone who's focused on innovation, the ecosystem, whether from an entrepreneur, a startup point of view, where we'll have about a thousand startups in a special area, to the biggest companies, tech companies in the world will be there on a, with their global teams. Yeah, I mean, it's amazing. What a way to kick off the new year, for sure. Um, what's the primary theme going to be for CES in 2023? What can attendees expect to see at the show? Well, we, we always say that the show is about innovation, but this time for 2023 January, it's focused on a bit more. It's focused on, uh, through an affiliation with a UN body, we are focusing on basic human rights, or, or, or basically securities are called, food security, health security, uh, environmental security, air and clean air, clean water. Um, security involving uh, your community, your politics. So it covers cyber security. It covers everything. Plus it covers mobility. We're one of the largest car shows in the world, but it, that also includes now boats. It includes electric vehicles, self-driving, uh, scooters, all forms of mobility. It's so, and healthcare tech is, is also so big. Because of the COVID, there's been so much out there focusing on how do we deal with healthcare? Especially in the United States where we have a limit on the number of doctors and we've had it for over 20 years. So you can't get more doctors. We keep having more people. We're living longer. Technology is surviving all these fundamental problems that we face in the United States and in the world. So what about the growth trends for 2023? What do you think um, the top trends are going to be in Vegas when we're all there in January? Well, what we're seeing is obviously tremendous growth in mobility, mm -hmm. health technology, and we're seeing new areas like the uh, metaverse or Web 3.0 and many different manifestations of that. Cybersecurity is, is a big focus. A lot of it is just not focused on the consumer products, but business to business sales as well. We're seeing new forms of transportation. We're seeing all sorts of uh, different things out there in different areas. Robotics to, robotics to me is always one of my favorites. And it's the startup with all the, the hundreds of companies, you know, Shark Tank is there uh, doing casting calls. We have phenomenal success stories where people start out and for a few thousand dollars, they, they're exposing not only to a media like yourself, but to investors, to the big company partners that may be interested in investing in them, as well, of course, the, the retail buyers which are there in force. All right. Well, looking forward to it, Gary. Thanks for joining us on Trade Talks. And thanks for joining me. I'm Jill Malentrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ.